Hey everybody, welcome back to Rick's Gadgets. So I had a question from one of the viewers and they want to know how I can set up HomeSeer or my home automation system as an alarm system. And what I wanted to do is kind of show you my system, how it's set up and how I use virtual devices and how you can have events trigger based on certain virtual devices and whether you're away from home or at home and allow you to kind of monitor the house when you're away. So first of all, I want to cover a virtual device. And what a virtual device is, it's something that you can create. Um, and you don't have to name it virtual, but I just always do just so I know that it's an entity that's just an on-off type condition. And I have several. I have some for my cell phones uh, because uh, when my cell phones connect to my network, I turn this virtual device on or off and as you can see here I have my cell phone is connected while the other family members theirs is uh, not connected because they are, are away. So I use this with my router. I have an on hub router that uses uh, IFTTT and that connection will update the home seer virtual devices here whether we're connected or not. Um, now you can use other applications. I know a lot of people use Life360, which is a free application for Android and so uh, uh, iPhones. And through that same process, you can have Life360 when you're home, say, you know, that this person's home or away. Um, and what I'll do is I'll show you in just a minute how I use these in conjunction with other things around the house to tell Homeseer how to behave when I am away or when I'm uh, not away. So my other virtual devices I have is my home occupancy. And the way I have it is I split it to upstairs to downstairs. Um, the only reason I really did the, t the two is my thermostats uh, because uh, upstairs, mainly it's the kids are upstairs and they are when they're away or at school and I'm home, uh, I just assume uh, put it in a way status so that way their thermostats are set to a higher or lower temperature based on that condition. So once they come home, uh, it's set to their cell phones or motion. If I were to go upstairs and trigger, trigger a motion, uh, this event would change to home status. So, um, so if I am home and I'm moving around upstairs, it, it'll keep the air or the heat at a normal level. But, uh, but those are my virtual devices. And so what I do is I check these devices and I also have my motion sensors. Um, these are just regular. I have some X10 and I have some Z-Wave motion sensors. Uh, I have them inside the house. I have them at the front doors, back door, um, have uh, one in the garage. So I've got several around the house. And I also have uh, door sensors. Um, I have some on the garage door, um, under the house door. So just showing you this, you know, whether the doors are open and closed um, around the house. So that is the devices that I have set up. Now, the, the, the nice thing with Home Series, is you can go in and you can create events. And on these events, first of all, I'm gonna show you my occupancy. Now the occupancy is when I say the house is occupied or when we're away. And the way I set it is for my downstairs occupancy, um, what I'm gonna say is when to set it in away status, this event's gonna run every 15 minutes. And that's kind of a, a good eye baseline that I've used. Um, to, to, to set these devices. And what I do is I check my motion sensors and make sure there's been no motion within 20 minutes. So if we've been walking around the house, you walk outside, come back in, you know, this is gonna, it's not gonna keep telling the house in an away status, in away status. And also I check that our, all of our cell phones are off for those virtual devices. And if all those conditions are true, then I set the downstairs to away. I do the same thing for the upstairs. So you can play around with these event times um, because usually every 15 minutes and 20 minutes on the, the motion sensors, that gives you, if you're working around the house, 
it's going to stay as occupied and not drop away into a away status. So what does that do? So one of my conditions is when we come home um, or there's motion in the house, and this is just the way I have it set up. So if there's any motion inside the house, the door's open, um, anything like that triggers it, and the house is in an, in an away status, what I do is I set it to home. And when that run, and when that device changes to home, I automatically get an email. That way I know if somebody's walked in the house, um, triggered one of the motion alarms, and I can pull up my cameras and kind of see who it is if I think it's someone outside of the, the normally family members that are coming in. So this is just a way you can have it trigger an event. You don't have to do this. You can say if it's in an away status and there's motion inside the house, or if there's motion at the front door, let's say you have packages that are known to get lost or stolen and you have a camera, I have my front motion so when uh, they drop it on the front pad, I'll get the notification that I have motion at the front door when there is uh, no one at home and I get an email and then I can kind of monitor my cameras to make sure that nothing's going on with the, uh, with the packages. So. That's just some of the things you can do. Uh, there's an alarm sirens and, uh, that you can get and add to the system. So if you wanna make it a full-fledged where it will alert an alarm inside the house, you can do that. Um, but like I said, mine's kind of a, a, a more of a passive. I just want it to email me and let me know, hey, something's going on at the house, check your cameras. Because my cameras aren't linked, uh, they record on motion, but they're not tied to uh, my home automation, I don't have them sync to record when there's motion in the house. They do it on their own. So this just gives me a time frame of, I know somebody opened the door, I know there was motion at this time based on my text that I get on my phone, and I can go back and pull the cameras up and review footage if I need to. So that's just some of the things I use uh, occupancies with, uh, door monitoring. Um, uh, one of the cool things that I have is if the status goes to away and the garage door still open, I have the garage door closed. So that way, if somebody walks out and forgets to close it when they leave, it'll handle it by itself. So those are just some things. Like I said, I wanted to cover what you could do with virtual devices and use HomeSeer kind of as a pseudo type uh, alarm system so you can monitor it and get notifications on your phone via text and uh, monitor your house and when you're away. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you have any questions or comments, drop them in the comment section below. And please subscribe to my channel. And I appreciate it. Y'all have a great day.